Hello and welcome. Indian engineering companies have come a long way. There used to be a time when it was all about mess for less and then it's been slowly evolving. Today a lot of companies are talking about playing a role in product conceptualization with the companies that they work with. Let's understand that a little more and also how this can play a role in designing products for the Indian market, which of course is a growing market. I'm now joined by G.H. Rao, President Engineering and R&D Services at HCL Tech. Uh, Mr. Rao, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you. So tell us, uh, you know, uh, the traditional kind of, uh, the, at least the perception is that most engineering services or design services that companies like yours offer have been uh, either if okay we know that we've uh, you've transited from uh, the low end but somewhere in the middle end but now what you're saying is that the trend is really more at the concept stage or the product concept stage so how is this playing out and uh, what are the kind of uh, uh, innovations that are happening there sure so uh, yeah as you mentioned you know we started engineering services uh, mostly in the implementation stage and also when we started uh, predominantly it used to be what we call as you know horizontal driven so you you develop electronics or you develop you know, mechanical or you develop embedded software so it is it's mostly uh, horizontal driven mm. and from there um, uh, the trend has been where the customers expect us uh, to uh, move up the value chain uh, in terms of uh, uh, understanding the complete products mm. thereby the domain and then their end customers and so that their involvement in the development stage is actually you know minimized or the implementation stage you know is is minimized okay so y that is that is one part so you start from uh, the implementation go go towards uh, uh, the domain uh, and ability to be able to uh, own the end to end implementation and actually you know right. able to deliver to the customer so give us an example of this so th there are uh, 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 several examples if you take uh, uh, a, a medical device you know product mm. okay so the the trend has been earlier the customer would do all the you know all the uh, market requirements or you know even even go up to the you know syst system requirements and then you know he will do the system design and from there he used to you know give us the implementation and then and then take it forward towards you know making a, you know end product and then end product sometimes would have you know the certifications you no know, required and then actually uh, if it is a hardware product you no know, transit mm -hmm. to the you know, manufacturing so the transition has been uh, uh, in the first phase the implementation to transition transition to either customers or to the manufacturing was handled by the uh, uh, customers themselves okay uh, there are there are several examples you take you know uh, few lrus uh, for aerospace you take what uh, is lru uh, that is line replaceable units okay. so that is that is basically a uh, piece of an electronics you no know, subsystem it could be you know a display system you know mm -hmm. or it could be you know a warning system so those, those are called actually lrus so, so we we have an examples of you know developing those you know for uh, uh, for customers and you take uh, for example automotive so we had a fairly rich experience of uh, uh, bringing products you know especially in driver information systems you know there are an end to end products where we used to work with the customers in actually testing the you know, live products in the field and then hand over to the you know, manufacturing so and in we have several domains in which you know we do that it, uh, there is a you know, uh, telecom and networking area also we have several you know, mm -hmm. routers and uh, switches which we have been able to do right so how is how are we as a country geared for this opportunity which must be growing i imagine in from a skills and pipeline point of view so we we are uh, uh, fortunately geared very well because uh, if you see the positive side there is uh, there is good uh, raw talent okay uh, but but on the negative side we still have uh, gaps which are you no know, significant in uh, especially the ecosystem uh, compared to some of our competitors uh, where especially for hardware products uh, the the ecosystem is not you know as good as what for example if you take some of these countries like china or you know other countries they have a lot lot better you know ecosystem so coming back to you know your, your question on how you know uh, we are evolving so yeah. now the next stage is the first stage was able to uh, put all the pieces together and deliver a end product to the customer and the second second phase is where uh, we have to ideate the products 
okay because till now that has been a territory of the you know, customers okay uh, so partially they want to do it on their own because it is closer mm. to their business and partially because you know uh, uh, there has to be belief in that it can be done by a uh, uh, third party mm. right but if you see the today uh, the with you know, the plethora of products uh, there are no more appoint products you now every company has to develop several product range to be uh, uh, competitive so there are opportunities you know there are and also expectations from the customers that you know some of this has to be you know done by us mm. okay. so I, i think now we are in the phase where we are able to uh, in some domains you know uh, take over the conceptualization uh, of the products you know, as well okay and this becomes even more uh, relevant in fact we we you know as as engineering group in india are more equipped to do if that if the target market is more india or you know similar countries emerging you know uh, mm. uh, economies okay there are some differences within within those countries as well but we are more equipped so case in point you know if you take uh, uh, if we are to develop you know let us say a, a Uh, low cost base station mm. right which our market is different our like indian base station in the telecom tower telecom tower okay. so because our our uh, market requirements in uh, in india especially the rural mm. rural markets where you have low density and you know uh, uh, the deployment requirements are you no know, different so we are actually better equipped to be able to do that rather than you know somebody uh, from the advanced countries who don't understand mm. the power situations or you no know, lot of other Uh, issues about uh, now understanding now how to deploy products okay so a lot of these things now we can understand so we'll we'll be able to come up with those mm-hmm. things now much better and a lot of other products where you have price sensitivity mm. okay uh, you, you take several you know, you know equipment in medical devices for example it it take uh, let us say a low cost dialysis machine right so it's a big thing in india right so if you were to develop something like that so we we have uh, probably more uh, m- uh, value add to be done for those markets apart from you no know, our ability to to be able to engineer so low cost dialysis machine is already out or is it so i am giving an example yeah, so yeah. if you are to develop you know mm. uh, something like a low cost dial- dialysis machine yes you now we 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 are you know better uh, better equipped and we can do i'm just giving an example mm. so what are the opportunities uh, for the you no know, indian markets because our conditions are different and you would see that that everywhere you take white goods you know you take you know consumer devices uh, the culturally and uh, environmentally uh, and price sensitivity and and you know other points uh, in terms of what is available locally mm. okay so if you have to really be competitive in this market you know you have to leverage what mm. is available locally so all these points make it uh, uh, make us to be to be able to do that job no better than you know somebody else doing for these markets right and how do you uh, last question so how do you see uh, uh, opportunity or growth in this space in the next couple of years i i in th- the areas that you i think i am very bullish about it uh, but by just being bullish we can't we can't get there uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, we have serious uh, gaps in our uh, uh, ecosystem uh, and logistics especially for hardware product engineering mm. software product engineering i don't see a problem hardware product engineering we we have to have the requisite ecosystem and supply chain geared up uh, before we aim at you know bigger things than what we are doing today right uh, mr rao thank you very much for speaking thank with you. us